Discussion on changing over from heparin to warfarin. It is usual practice to start heparin initially and then switch over to warfarin in many situations like peripheral embolism and pulmonary embolism. Sometimes warfarin is not initiated along with heparin when potential for a surgical intervention is considered in the near future because of the longer vein out period of warfarin effect. When such a possibility does not exist, warfarin can be initiated along with heparin so that duration of heparin therapy can be minimized. It may be noted that longer duration of heparin therapy not only increases the cost and pain associated with injections but also the chance of heparin induced thrombocytopenia syndrome. When a longer duration of parenteral anticoagulation is expected, it may be better to initiate low molecular weight heparin which has a more predictable bioavailability. The peak effect of a given dose of warfarin is reached in only about 96 hours even if the international normalized ratio of prothrombin time is within therapeutic range earlier than that. Hence, a minimum heparin overlap period of 4 days is often considered mandatory while switching over from heparin to warfarin therapy. Once the suggested therapeutic range of INR for the thrombotic condition being treated is achieved, heparin can be discontinued after a minimum period of 4 days. Usual target INR is 2 to 3 in most cases. INR of 2.5 to 3.5 is recommended in those with mechanical prosthetic valve at mitral position as well as those who have undergone aortic and mitral valve replacement. If it is only aortic mechanical prosthesis, target INR is 2 to 3. Here is a relevant journal reference on switching from heparin to warfarin. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.